at the Oregon Food Bank, folks here say not quite emergency levels, but they still could use lots more food. You know, in an average month, 85,800 children eat meals from emergency food boxes. We're talking in just a month. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Well, a decade ago, the No Child Left Behind law was enacted. Now, many say it's time for a change, including Susan Castillo, who is the superintendent of public instruction. Thanks so much for being here. You bet. Thank you. Well, it, it, was, it was first set out to do something very good, No Child Left Behind, but, but over the years... There are tweaks. Right, right. I'm, it, what it intended to do was to really shine the light on our academic achievement gaps that we have in public education and to be very prescriptive about how we were to address correcting that. And there were many good things about the law. It really did help us, you know, uh, have growing awareness and knowledge about what was happening with the achievement gap. But since then, um, we have gone beyond No Child Left Behind. We have set higher goals for our kids. Now we want all children to be college or work ready and to really be on that path for uh, success. And it's not about just getting kids over a bar as mm -hmm. No Child Left Behind has been um, designed. So um, for years now, we've been wanting, states all across the country have been wanting Congress to change the law and to make it work better for us with our college ready, work ready agenda. And as you know, uh, Congress hasn't been functioning too well these days mm -hmm. and we haven't been able to get a, a change through. And so President Obama stepped up, invited some of us uh, in leadership positions to be with him in Washington, D.C., and he announced that he's going to give states an opportunity for waivers from uh, No Child Left Behind. And uh, so right now we are very, very busy working with uh, over 100 people. Mm -hmm in work groups across the state on uh, putting together our waiver application and our proposal for how we want to make the law work better for Oregon. Now you're talking about a bar and an achievement bar. You, you would really like to see the way achievement is measured changed. Yes, we want it really on growth, not so, but not so much um, just you know looking at one point in time of how our kids are doing, but looking at how they grow in their academic achievement uh, from year to year. And um, we also don't want such prescriptive uh, mandates about what our schools need to do if they're not meeting the requirements mm -hmm. of the law. We think uh, it really should be based on the needs of the school and those students, and um, based on good research and best practice. And so our proposal will include those kinds of uh, proposals. Um, one example is um, the law says that you have to use a certain percentage of your federal dollars for tutoring services. Well, perhaps a struggling student doesn't need those tutoring services. Perhaps they need some other kind of intervention. We want to be able to look at what the needs are of that child and use um, best practice and research mm -hmm. to make those decisions. You it's, know, we're, we're hearing forklifts in the background and, and beeps and... Uh, you know, when we talk about the food bank, boy, they do so much for the for the schools. Absolutely. It is essential that we have the food bank. We have had a growing number of kids in poverty in Oregon schools. We feed a lot of children now in Oregon's public schools, um, especially breakfast. But um, there are some schools where all three meals are covered. And then, of course, we have summer programs where we really rely on working together with food bank programs across the state to help us be able to continue those programs. Our kids need to be fed because if they're not... If they're hungry, they're not going to be yeah. able to learn. And, and we really do worry about uh, taking care of their health needs as well as their, their um, academic needs. Oh, very quickly, are you on board with the governor's reform efforts regarding schools? I am. I, the, the part of the work that I'm especially excited about is that um, he wants to change uh, how we do our uh, budgeting for the state, for education, and really help us have a better process for how we take the resources that we have for education and make sure that we're um, uh, making decisions where they're tied to the outcomes that we want in our schools and having a better process for how we do that. And I have no doubt that as we do that work, we are going to be making better decisions with the resources we have for our kids. I'm right, so glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers, Susan Castillo. And we want to thank you for being here as well from the Oregon Food Bank for the crew. I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.